Hello everyone, I'm Sherry and you're watching Lessons Learned. Welcome back to the Monday morning quilt chat. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Uh, this was our last weekend in Florida and we're heading home today. So a little sad and a little excited too to get back home but uh, the weather's been super nice down here. And of course at home in Indiana, it's cold and wet. So we'll be going back to some of that, but we know that spring is just around the corner. So I uh, hope uh, you guys have been busy sewing. I hope you've had plenty to do and having fun doing it. And the first thing I wanna cover is the um, Darlene Michaud quilt along pictures that I have. Uh, I have two and I'll put those on the screen here for you. This is from Terry Gresham and she has the softest colors in hers and I really like it and with the black uh, borders and sashing setting that off and I almost decided to do solid black too because I thought that would be really striking to make the, the colors pop. And her feature blocks are mostly cats as well, as far as I noticed here. Uh, one is a flower pot with a butterfly, and another one is, I think, Harry Potter um, characters. I'm not familiar with Harry Potter, I didn't read the books, but I think that's who it is. But uh, it's, it's just gorgeous, it's just precious, I love it. Good job, Terry. And then I have one from Lorraine LaCroix. And she has a very interesting take on it. She didn't do any sashing, but she did do borders and she used border fabric for it. Uh, a rose uh, pattern and a polka dot um, binding. And she's done all her quilting. I believe this is complete, right? Uh, Lorraine, I think so. But uh, her feature blocks were coffee pots and teapots and, and cups. That was interesting. And there's some other uh, interesting things there too. There, there's some kind of Asian inspired pieces in there as well, looks like. So that is just a work of art. It just looks like a, a mosaic to me. Good job, Lorraine. Anybody else would like to send their pictures in? for me to put up on Monday Morning Quilt Chat, be, I would be glad to do it, or any other projects that you're doing. If you're um, looking at doing the um, the series I just finished, the um, Stack and Whack, which by the way, uh, episode three and the final episode, that's the final episode, episode three is up now if you haven't found that yet. Um, but yeah, if you're doing that, or if you're doing something with Minky Fabric or something, I would love to see those and be glad to, to share it with everyone here on the channel. And then the other thing that I wanted to go over with you all is um, an idea that I have to do a sew along with Pat Sloan. Now, Pat Sloan is a well-known quilter um, she's got fabric lines and written books and it's usually in our quilting world we when we hear the name Pat Sloan we know who that is but if you don't she has um, a YouTube channel for one but she also has a website patsloan.com and if you go to that website it looks like this I hope this will show up right I love to make quilts and then down below in that blue box, she's got, um, I think that's where I found it. If you see something that says sew along or sew alongs, she's got several going there. And there's one that's starting um, March 1st, uh, block a day pattern. It's called March block a day string bean. Let me see if I can make this where you can recognize it when you go there. That's what it's going to look like. 
Now you can use any color or fabrics, of course, but it's super easy. It's kind of a twist on a log cabin block and they're big. The blocks are big. I think they're 12 and something by 15 and something. And you download the pattern. There's a, a link to download the pattern. And there's about, I think there's three or four pages of instructions, but see that block there? Super easy. What's that say? 12 and, oh, 12 and a half by 15 and a half. So you can see how you would get a really decent sized quilt easily out of that. And here's what it says. It says, welcome to my March block a day quilt along. For this, I encourage you to use something you already have. Uh, a fat quarter bundle, scraps, leftover jelly roll strips, or a new jelly roll with added fabric for the center. On the following pages is how to sew the block and several layout options. So I was looking at it and all of the grayed out blocks there are two and a half inch strips. So you may already have a bunch of those. And then that middle one is, let's see, it's the biggest one. The center one is four and a half inches by seven and a half inches. So you could even make that a feature block like we did on the scrappy one. So there's instructions there. Go to patsloan.com, look for sew alongs, and then it's called string beans. 2022 March block a day. So don't get stressed out if you don't get your block done every day. You can always do two or three in a day or even more. But I thought it would be uh, nice to do something daily there together, keep us busy. And then next week, um, when I get back, I'll be in the sewing studio in the she shed. And I'm going to show you my giant fabric haul <laughs> from So Yeah Quilting. And if you're not familiar with So Yeah, it's S-E-W-Y-E-A-H. It's a quilt store out in Las Vegas. And they have a YouTube channel. And every Tuesday and Saturday evenings for about four hours, they have like a, it's not really an auction, but they have um, set cuts of fabric. Like it could be one yard cuts and uh, they'll sell them in bundles that coordinate. And sometimes they don't coordinate, but most of the time they're in fabric lines and they assign it a number and then in the chat section of that video, that YouTube video, you try to hurry and put that number in if it's something that you want. So a lot of their fabric is only $6 a yard. So, and it's brand name stuff like Free Spirit and Ben Artex and, you know, Moda, all the famous brands. It's not junk, it's, it's good stuff. So I think that's all I have for the quilt chat today. And I hope you guys have a great week and get busy sewing again. And I uh, hope you can do the sew along with me and we'll talk again this week. So have a good one. I'll see you on the next one.